look for me. <laughs> you almost cannot see him because he is like a dark creature in the shadows. You caught me. What are you going to do with this? Hi guys, I hope you didn't forget me, I hope you missed me, um, it's been a crazy period, I finally found a house and I'm so super tired and super exhausted, I'm running around all day long um, and literally have no time to work normally, so I decided to make like a really quick update for you, so you uh, know what is happening, like with all of the moving stuff and I want to tell a couple of words about the house, about the area. Um, so yeah, and here is the Morty. I think that you miss him as well. <laughs> Super scared. Uh, okay, so uh, what should I start from? So I wanted to tell a like, few words about my experience uh, with the renting in Canada in general. Ah, uh, first of all, prices are like something. It is so expensive here. Like, like for sure, I knew that it will be expensive in Canada, in North America, of course. But it is really so expensive here in Toronto and GTA. Um, I wasn't prepared for this. Um, and um, the problem is that I was like, I wanted, you know me, I wanted to find kind of cabin in the wood i wanted to find like like a farmhouse somewhere in the rural area i wanted to find like some cabin from the evil dead you know and i imagined my um my home in canada something like really cabin from evil dead like in the end i got a beautiful very uh very sunny house in the area which reminds me the burp with uh, Tom Hanks. So the problem is that all of the like farmhouses and cottages and like cabin in the wood like houses in in the Ontario for one week it cost like almost the month that I pay in this house. I don't know why it is so expensive and you basically cannot rent it for the whole month. It is like written that the price per week um, and it is huge. So I I decided to stick. I wanted the house with, with almost no neighbors. So I can like shoot YouTube videos and you know shoot for all of my other pages. Um, and I wanted to, you know, go for adventures. I wanted, you know, to go and to look for the Sasquatch in the area or something like this. But in the end, I decided to stick to the like very safe neighborhood with the neighbors, um, something like this. But uh, I still have kind of rural surroundings. I have nice view from the windows. It is like, I'm looking like on this right now. It is like, fields and uh, kind of forests and uh, the town somewhere very far away reminds me of Ukraine a little bit so uh, this is very good place but the most important thing that this house has tons of sunlight like direct sunlight which is super useful for my work for my only fans for my Instagram and for my YouTube as well um, so it is like very nice place 
to live and to work, I'm very satisfied. It has some minuses, but but they're okay. I will tell I will tell about the minuses later. I may like my thoughts are very messy, so I'm like pouring all of my thoughts on you and it's not my problem how you will deal with this. So the house itself is really big. I'm not sure that I need this big house. I thought it in the beginning, but later I realized that I like it's rather a benefit because I can have like a separate room where I will be like doing my paintings. Um, so I think it, it's fine. Um, and Morty is, you know, he is so excited that we moved to the big place when he, when he can run everywhere and discover like new rooms, etc. Previous tenants were not very caring people when it comes to the property because the walls on the first floor are very, very dirty, like really dirty, I will show it to you later. And in the bedrooms, they're dirty as well. Some bedrooms are cleaner, some bedrooms are dirtier. And I decided to paint the walls on the first floor um, just to like refresh a little bit because it is, it's like very visible, very visible. Um, and I will be doing this at my cost because uh, landlords um, decided to not do this like by their cost. So I will be doing this in a, in a week, I guess. So I will have freshly done uh, walls and then I can move in furniture. Also, it's very fun fact. I don't have curtains in my house. Um, and it, like when it, when it is evening and I turn on the lights, I feel like every, like, like, all of the streets is looking at me, even despite the fact that the street is empty. Everyone here is like minding their own business. Nobody is watching in your windows. But I feel like very uncomfortable and I cannot buy curtains because I am going to have um, like walls done in a week. So it's kind of complicated a little bit, especially in the shower on the second floor because it doesn't have curtains as well. And today I bought this amazing carpet um, in Home Depot or Depot in Home Depot. Um, and unfortunately, it's not that big as I wanted, but they didn't have bigger sizes. So I'm having like this carpet for the living room. Maybe I will switch it for the bigger one when I will find it. And this I will move to the one of the bedrooms. Uh, but it's so cute. I like it. It's like faded a little bit. Incredibly cute. And by the way, Morty likes this carpet a lot. He's like trying to jump underneath the carpet. Like, and he's like sitting under the carpet. I don't understand why he's doing this, but, but what can I do? <laughs> also, yesterday I bought this lamp. It's kind of bra, I don't know. The, the big lamp that you put on the floor. <laughs> so you can let me know in comments how you correctly name this lamp. So uh, it, it fits the table, which I bought on Ikea, in Ikea. And I love how it like, how do you say it? Like it consists of two parts and they bend in the middle. Like I find it really cute. And I love that it is dark. So I'm using this lamp in the evenings and in the mornings I am waking up very early. And it is like, it feels very nice to wake up like in 6 a.m. or like 6.30, like it's dark outside yet. And you turn on this lamp and make yourself first cup of coffee. And it feels really amazing. Morty is meowing. Everything is fine and you're starting to work. I don't know. I love it. I will have so many lamps in this house. I will have like three lamps in each room, I swear. Because each time I come into the furniture store, like I like every lamp there. Like literally every lamp. Also, I bought this diffuser. 
I guess you name it diffuser. So it has cute LED light. And I have a lot of aroma oils from Ukraine of a good Switzerland brand. Um, and I bought like one which is vanilla and I'm going to smell it like 24 hours per day because it smells so amazing. I will have, I, I am going to buy a few of this lamp so I have nice smells everywhere because I love when it is smelling like nice, super adorable. I wanted to buy this thing for a really long period of time. My best friend has something like this and I was always like, okay, I'm also going to buy myself such kind of diffuser that makes the air like more soft and wet. If this makes sense, more humid. Um, and like, I never did this. And this was my first purchase of such cute diffuser. I'm so satisfied, so happy. Okay guys, the next two things that I need to buy in, into this house is the hair dryer and a coffee machine because I didn't want to offend any Canadians but Tim Hortons is is like a little bit weird the whole situation with the like Canadian coffee reminds me the movie Godzilla with Jean Reno where he is like sitting in the bus and his French friend brings him coffee and he tries it a little bit and does like <laughs> And he asks like, what is this? Is this a coffee? And the friend is like, no, this is America. So I'm in this situation like John Renault. This is the basement and it's actually not very scary, like at all. And don't laugh at my socks because I'm wearing two pairs of warm socks and I like, I'm freezing a little bit all the time. Okay guys, um, it was really quick. I just decided to show you what was happening during these days. The new video will be very soon. I hope that I will have like, I will continue buying like necessary furniture and stuff, like hair dryer, for example. I need to buy bedding um, and I need to buy like all the details that people usually have in the houses because the house is literally empty, something like this. So the new video will be very soon. And in general, I will try to become more active in november so guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being with me thank you so much for your patience i hope you didn't forget me uh, while i am absent while i'm like doing all of this stuff and uh, like working on my nest so i will see you in the next video